Hey you guys, welcome to round two of the 2018 Pro World Championships. Uh, the coverage is brought to you by Innova and the PDGA, and thank you Jomas for being out there with the ladies' cards. I'm here with Lisa Ficus, and I'm Madison Walker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're really excited to bring you Rebecca Cox, Paige Birkis, Jessica Weiss, and Holly Finley for this second round lead card coverage. Yeah, these are the ladies that really shredded it in the woods, so it'll be interesting to see them play kind of the opposite style course. We have a couple wooded holes to start off, but it's a lot of wide open bombs, a lot of OB. Starting here on hole one, it's kind of a placement shot. It's a little, I think it's an island technically. Yeah, it you, is. You throw over mm -hmm. into that landing zone and then uh, try to pitch up and give yourself a putt. It's kind of far for the second shot, so I, uh, <coughs> par, it's definitely a good par four, but birdieable by these top card ladies. Mm -hmm. It's very touchy. First on the tee from Cincinnati, Ohio, Rebecca Cox. Woo! Woo! Rebecca Cox had the hot round after oh. round one shooting. It's really one, one under really, yeah. really hot score. She's the only one under par, correct? Yes. It's really nice seeing some fresh faces on the lead card here at Worlds, but we're, none of us are surprised with Rebecca. She's super solid. She's got the most pure release point in the game, and she does really well in the woods. Her home course is Idlewild, so that uh, Brewster Ridge course is perfect. No way. Oh, Just by an okay. inch? Next on the tee, from Emporia, Kansas, mm. Paige <laughs> Is that Jeff's ring? <laughs> Mispronouncing Paige's name. <laughs> so easy to do. I guess. I I'm just getting it down. <laughs> <laughs> Paige, the quickest player on tour. Turns it over nicely with control straight up the middle. Wow. Gives us some distance, too. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Some ground play at the end, but stays nicely and bounds. Third on the team. Grass Valley, California, Jessica Weiss. Jay Weezy going backhand off the tee. Definitely a forehand option as well. Um, yeah, slightly uphill, and then the fairway kind of uh, also veers off right to left. Yeah, the only place you don't want to be is tucked off to the right. Um, there's a landing zone over there, but it just doesn't give you the greatest shot. Right. Keep the pin. Ollie ripped it up in the woods. No one's surprised about that. It's her favorite type of golf. Right. Get some good distance on that. So good. Everyone getting lined up for their second shot. It looks like Rebecca's the only one that is off or out of bounds off the tee. Oh, what a lie. That's a tough run up coming from OB. She gets a and little that ground fairway point. again is really tough with the slope. Stays in bounds though. Stays in bounds. She look has a putt just inside circle two. Mm-hmm. Jay Weezy throwing the forehand. I think that's a good play, but she puts it a little higher than you want. Wow. Oh. Hits the pole. Comes wow. Out. Really nice. It was a weird angle, I guess. I perfect. It was perfect. Holly booms one. Oh, too um. much boom. Is that OB inside the circle up there? It's close. I think it's just beyond. Just beyond. Paige just looks like she's throwing a putter. Just heisering off inside the circle nicely. Rebecca puts a nice white hyzer on that one, comes in just at the basket, just beyond. Little comeback tester. Holly from about, what, 25? Yep. Taking her meter in. Oh, trying to save the bogey. Just slow. Oof, Paige trying to save her birdie. Rebecca, I believe. Oof, man, this whole one is is a little bit of a roller coaster yeah, right it's now. A tough start for sure. Uh, all this O B and tight fairways. Everyone's probably got a little bit of jitters too. I mean, I can't imagine lead card, second round at Worlds. I'm sure some of these ladies weren't quite expecting being on here, so it's uh, it can be a little tough. 
It's very lots good of cameras. Point. Yes. Yeah, lots of cameras. They've got a really nice size gallery, which is awesome. Yeah, it's always good to see. Holly Rockin. And super cool to have Joe Mez. Yeah. All in the ladies. We appreciate that. Can't wait to see some follow flights, some slow mezzes. Hole two, I love this hole. Straightforward. I don't feel the same way. <laughs> I, for some reason, don't like this hole at all. No? Yeah, it's, it's, what would you say? Kind of, a, would you call it a forehand or a backhand turnover? I like the backhand. Okay. It's, I think that's a smart play because if you, the slope of the green is left to right downhill yeah, and there's yeah. OB on the right. Exactly. So you kind of have to be really touchy with your line and the gap is so tight. Right. The backhand fights the slope, mm. but it's so tough to make that gap. Yeah. Just I have to knife it through though. I feel like this gap is borderline too tight, but mm -hmm. that's very whiny. Paige pimps it. Center wow. cut. It's just, just outside circle. Yep. I think that was a putter if I had to guess. She throws putters a lot off the tee. Holly with, I believe, a leopard, maybe? Oh. oh, favorable kick. Looks like she'll be inside the circle. Nice. Rebecca. Center cut. Really Gosh. nice. So much fun to watch her throw these tight gaps. It's just like, I feel like it's just second nature. She doesn't even get nervous about tight gaps. Follow fly. Oh, I wasn't expecting it. She gets a nice height on the disc, comes in perfectly at the basket. A few skips. Parked. Boom. So even though this is one of the shortest holes right we play on Fox Run Meadows, mm -hmm. there are still only five birdies out here. Oh, a nice aggressive nice putt. Jumper by miss. Paige. Oh, yeah. How many birdies were out here? Only five. Okay. Mm -hmm. Really surprising. This is that gettable birdie it oh. everyone wants to get. I had the same problem as Jay Weezy. <clears throat> oh no! Ouch. No way! Stop. Yeah, that little she slope. That it went up for par. That sloping green is scary with the OB right there. There you go. It is, and just the fact that OB comes into play on every hole, you just have to be so careful. Yeah, you're you're trying to throw careful while also being a like confident in your shots and being aggressive because the second you just are a little bit hesitant you're out of balance yes. <laughs> those kicks will hurt you <laughs> they will it's it's, it's an interesting course you have to commit especially these first few holes like this is another really tight gap it's only 285 feet but plays a little harder than that because it's a low ceiling um and kind of a gentle hyzer yeah gentle hyzer mm -hmm. I, I would say so with something even just slightly flippy even, mm -hmm. but uh, I like this hole a lot because it's birdieable. Yep. Uh, a good solid shot puts you up at the pin. Yeah, it's um, definitely a putter or mid-range shot. There's OB on the right if you get a kick or if you flip something over. Paige making it look easy. Right wow. at the gut. A little Coming short. up a little short, but that's still great. The uh, green slopes downhill from uh, the middle of the fairway, and it kind of drops off behind the basket. It's a little scary. Paige will have a death putt. Rebecca misses by just a little bit, but she's uh, she'll have an easy approach to the pin. Mm -hmm. Oh, early release! That's Lots okay, of trees though. over there. <laughs> yeah, there's no OB on the left, but you don't really want to be over there. It's kind of walled up. So many trees on the left side. Wow. Weezy's tail enough right. At, like Gets it, a hit good a tree, kick. Maybe I yeah. heard something. Gets a good kick. Looks like it might have came back and bounced. Yep. Holly. Oh, oh. Dang it. This basket is so guarded, too. Um, even if you throw a great shot like Paige did, um, she still might end up with a straddle putt. There's so many trees inside the circle. Oh, great. Great groundwork and kicks on that. It was coming out early, but right at the basket. Holly running for three. 
looks like she might have been laying it up, maybe a soft run, but you can see she skipped kind of far down. It's a heavy slope at that green. And it's kind of hard packed ground too, so it doesn't grab. Just laying it up. She's okay with her three. Paige looking for a two. Gives it a soft run. Even though this hole's even shorter than hole two, there was less birdies. Only huh. only four twos. This hole feels longer than hole two, doesn't it? It's uh it's about I think it's only about Oh, it is longer. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Three oh five. Oh no. Down the hill. Holly having some putting woes. <sighs> Which Great is comeback, but very unlike her. It's really unfortunate triple, but Especially at the start of a round, it's kind of hard to bounce back from that. Hopefully we'll get to see her uh, yeah. flexing her mental game. Jess takes her par. With these little short birdie holes at Fox Run, you, you really want to capitalize on them. And if you don't, it doesn't feel good. Um, you feel like you miss some opportunities. And on to the long walk to, to uh, hole four. Yeah, hole four, more OB right off the tee pad, going down a stretch. And then we have like an alternate tee pad on the right side that you can even turn something over and be safe in. Sort of like an island over there, I believe. Yeah, it's, yeah, you, it's you different pitch from, over. different feature from last year. Yeah. Uh, this is a 465 par four actually. Um, it's a soft par four, I believe. So I think it is soft, but also that tee shot is very tricky. It's such a small landing zone if you go for the straight shot. Mm -hmm. um, I personally prefer the, prefer the Annie that Paige is throwing. Mm. She puts it a little tighter than you want, but it looks like it might be flexing out and it'll be just fine. It should be safe. It just puts it behind that big bushy tree right there. That bush is kind of right in the landing zone for the Annie. Yeah. Um, you, you have to really trust if you're going to put it in front of it because the OB is only another 100 feet past that bush. Rebecca's really pushing it and she's in front of the bush. Looks like safe. A nice play. She'll have a great, she'll have an easy approach from there. Jay Weezy working the forehand. That's like such a great play if you've got some good forehand distance. Makes it look easy. Good shot. Holly's lining up the same play. And puts it over nicely. Just behind the bush, but enough behind it where she can get around it. This is kind of a tough approach from there. You can't really flex an Annie. I'm sure Holly's probably playing it for par. She puts it out wide and it needs to come back, but it doesn't. Oh no! Ouch. Yeah, there's OB between that island and the basket. Mm -hmm. um, probably about what would you say, like 75 feet? Of yeah, OB? it's a little wider than I thought. I actually mm -hmm. have never gone that way. I always stay in the left side fairway. Paige going around the big tree or over Ooh. it? Wow, Thank you. must be safe. Interesting. Just working another forehand. I'd like this whole forehand forehand. I think it's such a smart play. Just carries it along oh, inside the circle, though. Pushing the OB. There's a few places on this course where the OB pushes the circle. Mm -hmm. Oh, great shot. I'll bring it up every time because it's one of my pet peeves. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca lands it up on the rocks. It's a little bit of an elevated basket. Great shot from Holly. All over great it. Shot. It was really nice. We didn't have a whole lot of wind to deal with at the beginning of the round, which is nice on these kind of holes. Just mm -hmm. looking for a birdie. Great run. Gets a lot of cage. Yeah, there were a lot of threes out here. Cage is one of them. Sweet. I actually like all the changes they made on this hole. I think this is a great great disc golf hole. Yeah, it's a great hole. It's such a good three. Feels great to get it. It's 
also pretty cool to be playing a course that is wide open, sort of like a ball golf course, but it's made for disc golfers. And you can tell it's made with the shots in mind, which is really yeah. nice instead of having to use the sidewalks and the bunkers of a, of a regular golf course. I agree. It's pretty cool. Makes for an interesting experience. Yeah, really great course design, really beautiful property. Mm -hmm. The mountains and the water on this hole. This is an exciting hole. Um, there's a lake on the left. It's a big downhill bomb. I believe Lisa chose this for her Ulti World hole breakdown. True. You guys true. Check it out. Yep. Yep. Hole five. Nice hyzer down the hill. Paige, Paige put it way out, out there. <laughs> it comes back nicely, though. She'll play with the bridge, but um, I believe she's safe. The play's definitely the hyzer on this hole between those two big trees, just like Rebecca did. Mm -hmm. um, she comes a little bit short. She'll land in that clump of trees, but she'll be able to have an approach. It's good to be safe. Yeah. We had kind of a screaming headwind when we played this hole. It was very scary. Yeah, the wind's starting to pick up for sure. You can see the flags moving in the background. Jayweezy lands in that ditch. That's kind of a pretty common landing zone for some of the open women. That's a nice pump. Yeah. You get a good little run at the basket from there. Holly trying to work the hyzer. It's coming back. Nice. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Surprisingly, even though this is like a downhill hole, this played really difficult for the women. Um, there's lots of trouble around the basket, and the tee shot is really hard if you don't get enough on, on your hyzer. Totally agree. If you pull it off a little early, you can easily hyzer off OB left. Also, even without the OB with the lake by the basket, just it being a really steep slope on the right side is kind of hard for making sure your upshot doesn't run, roll away or mm -hmm. that your putt I doesn't I saw quite roll a away. few rollaways. Me too. Um, and then there's OB right there, which is inside the circle again. <laughs> yeah, another one of my pet peeves is the slanty greens, but, um, you know, there's... Oh, Holly nice making putt. it look easy. Yeah. Being think over six feet tall helps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For those of you tuning in, it is just as weird as it seems going from those tight woods to this wide open course. It's a really nice balance, but also it's kind of plays with you a little bit when you have to kind of shape your own lines instead of letting the trees <laughs> do that for you. Totally. Just as frustrating, you could say, but um, it's really nice to have these two courses on the one property mm -hmm. out here in Vermont. It's really beautiful. Hole six, super tight hole kind of plays as an Anheuser or a flick hole to the right. Under 300 feet, 290. So but definitely, I feel like it plays harder than that. Super hard to get it up there. It's slightly uphill and the tightness of it. It's a weird angle for a forehand yeah. or a turnover. You really have to trust and it's a it's a blind shot. You cannot see the basket or the green at yeah. all. Weird angle with the tee pad and then there is some There's trees in the fairway. That one yeah. tree on the right side. Page tr fully trusting that disc. Wow. What a great pull. Wow. I love it. Makes it look easy. It's not easy. Like you said, trust. Tr <laughs> trust us. It's not easy. Becca does the same. Best... Such a good flight. Wow. Puts it just inside the circle-ish somewhere around there. Love this line. Nice power on that flick. You can see you can see Jay Weezy threw it really hard to get it up there. I mean, it is a tough yeah. it is a tough uphill shot, um, and you really have to put a lot of hyzer on it because whenever the way that it slopes right to left, it wants to it wants to go straight. Gosh, great shot by Holly. Wow, love that line. I made this look. Everyone on my card laid it up. <laughs> <laughs> Took their threes. Jess wants her birdie. Playing with OB again, but she'll land safe. Here comes the wind. Yeah. In the heart of the chains. Rebecca with a huge a birdie, nice birdie. Yep. Just trying to save par on this elevated basket. Her signature Annie putt. And the pink panther. 
<laughs> da -da -da -da. Yellow socks, yellow disc. Matching it up. Getting our birdie. Nice birdie, birdie. You, when you can get a birdie out here on Fox Run Meadows, you got to grab it and run with it. Because mm -hmm. they are few and far between. Excellent. Park job. Still holding on to the lead, Paige Bierkus. Trying to make a run at this world title. She's playing steady golf. It's fun to watch. It's a beautiful overview of this hole. Yeah, look at the mountains. You can see the mountains in the background. It's a par, true par five right here. This is the hardest hole on the course, no doubt, mentally and in the stats. <laughs> um, it's a thousand footer. 1,085 feet. There's OB all the way down both sides of the fairway. Tight, it's pretty tight. At least for when you're trying to throw bombs on a thousand foot hole. Um, off the tee, you, there's a kind of a guardian tree and a gully, and you have to cross over that gully. The hyzer is the play. Mm -hmm. But it's um, quite a pump to reach it. Uh, mm -hmm. Just over, what, 275? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd say right, around, right at 300, somewhere okay. in there. Just around 300. Yeah. yeah, it's a pump. 280, yep, that seems about right. Um, if you throw it too straight, and don't get that hyzer, you can go out of bounds um, on the right-hand side. And if you do what Rebecca did, mm. play with the OB on the left, it kind of curves out away. So it's you really have to make sure you don't hyzer out. Yeah, you got to be long if you're hyzering out. Holly's going to be playing with the OB on the right-hand side. She puts too much of a move on it. Unfortunately, it doesn't cross in bounds. This is such a tough tee shot. It's so tough. Um, it is tough. You just have to really... Uh, Full force one out there. Just does a good job putting a lot of power and while not flipping a lot of straight it over. power on her disc. She tickles. almost too much straight power, yeah. but enough. Tickles the right hand side. Yeah. It'll be good. Mm -hmm. If you can get that first drive across, there's a nice kind of wider section of the out of bounds. Like a little, I call it the belly, <laughs> um, that you can have a little more room on your drive, your second shot. Mm -hmm. um, Holly hangs it over the right hand side, but looks like she's inbound safe so right a good in the middle. Straight line, yeah, in the wind. Just work in the forehand. I think that's a smart play. She um, plays to the the belly side. <laughs> Booms it. Wow. That's up there. It's probably a 300 foot forehand. Maybe a little farther than that. Rebecca trusting it. But might have put a little too much hyzer on it. She's looking to land in the belly. Oof. She, she uses that space. Paige going full power here, swinging it out to the right just a bit. Wow. Coming down nice. Oh. Watch it. <laughs> Camera guy was not expecting <laughs> that much distance from that little lady. <laughs> Probably keeping it low. That's a smart play here. Not letting too much stuff happen. Just keep yeah. it low. Keep it in the middle of the fairway. Mm-hmm. Nice wide hyzer. Love that. So these ladies are making this hole look super easy, um, putting it in bounds every time. But the for the rest of the women's field, the average was a 6.7 on this wow. par 5. So um, this is a tough hole. It's really, really hard to keep it in bounds on every shot. Right. Oh, as I say that, sorry, Rebecca. Mm -hmm. I think I jinxed her. So touchy with each shot. It's a power shot, three power shots. Uh, touchy power shots. Yeah. <laughs> Paige gonna give her a putt, give herself a putt. Should be inside circle too. Nice. Yeah, eighty percent of the ladies' field got a bogey or worse. Eighty mm. percent—that's huge. That's surprising. My card did really good on this hole. Mine did not. We had an eleven on my card. Oh, okay. Sorry, yeah. pickle. <laughs> It can happen. Holly puts it a little deep, just outside the circle. She'll have a tough putt. Basket is slightly elevated, just slightly, mm -hmm. but it's enough. <laughs> <laughs> These wooden structures look really pretty, but definitely uh, is a little scarier. Paige looking for birdie? I believe right here. Wow. Oof. Uh. <laughs> 
Not bad. I like her body language. <laughs> Holly. Mm. Oof, looking to save I Par, I believe. Mm. Is that correct? I lose track on this par five. Rebecca with a double bogue after going out of bounds on mm. her third shot. Oh, Holly with a oh. double bogue too. They add up so quickly. Paige carding a par. Nice par five by uh, Paige and Jess. It's nice to have a full power flick on that hole. I think it's a big advantage. Um, unless you're Paige Bierkus and you've been throwing backhand since you options. were about six. <laughs> hole eight is 550 feet. This is a really fun hole. Snaky fairway, uphill slightly, and placement shots. You can go for the the birdie. It's birdieable. Uh, with two big booms. And I like this Got to be too. careful. Again, OB, OB the circle. <laughs> comes into play. <laughs> right looks, by the basket. Right by the basket. Mm -hmm. It's all the way down both sides of the fairway. You can't get away from it. But there's lots of room to work. Um, I don't even quite worry about the OB on this hole. Yeah. No, you just want to lace one down the middle. This one's definitely much wider. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got a lot of room to shape a shot here. Oh, just going just, the aggressive route. She turns it over a bit and then needs to sit down. It does not. Rebecca's putting it right in the middle, lining herself up for her birdie. Sweet. It's, from there, it's probably, what, another 330 mm -hmm. uphill? Definitely reachable. But it's kind of a little bit of an Annie shot or a flexi shot. Holly gets some wind play. Kind of knocks her down a little bit. She'll be a little bit shorter, but definitely also have a look for a, a pump up to the green. Oh no. Oh wow, that, that's coming oh, back. Oh, okay. Luckily. Wow, that thing had some glide. Yeah, it looked like out of the hand, it looked like it was going to keep going left, but got a lot of distance on that pull. And this looks like, um, it's basically a routine four mm -hmm. for the most part, uh, is an easy way to play. And that's how Holly's going to play the hole. It's almost a tweener between a three and a four, mm -hmm. which is nice. That these big arms like Rebecca. Uh, Rebecca it gets oh. aggressive, but it doesn't pay off. Man, I thought that was going to carry all the way through. Paige going for it. Doesn't quite flip it over yeah. enough, but she'll have a putt from Comes outside. Safely, yeah. Mm. Kind of a half run. Yeah. Rebecca looking to save a par. Mm. She'll have a bogey. With the with an out of bounds stroke on this course, that's pretty run of the mill. Mm -hmm. Saving par from out of bounds is not not really a common thing. <laughs> totally, yeah. yeah but these holes are so long. Paige looking for a bird. Does not quite find it, but she'll have an easy tap and par. There was actually only one birdie on this hole on the field. She sounds familiar. <laughs> Goes by the name of Lisa. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to be real aggressive on this tee box. And... That's such a good three. And on the second shot, both yeah, backhands. I decided, yeah, two backhands. Awesome. Yeah. Did you have to make a big putt? <laughs> uh, it was inside the circle. So, awesome. Yeah, just inside the circle. I was really happy with it. Solo birdie, so, nice. Yeah, thanks. Rebecca taps in for Bogue. Age saves her par. And we're moving on to the final hole of the front nine. This is a fun hole, a little bit of the downhill. It's so it's different from any disc golf hole I've ever played, I feel like. It's such an interesting yeah. fairway. You really want to just aim at that rock if you can. <laughs> yeah. Aim at the hole. huge rock. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's OB all the way down the right and left-hand side. Right side, there's kind of a cliff. You don't want to play with it over there. And the left-hand side is a hill. Um, I actually watched one of the girls on a, my card crash into that hill and roll safe. So hmm. it's, it's a play. It's one way. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of wind that comes off the hill on the mm -hmm. left side. So it's important to keep your disc a little bit low. Paige does a good job of that. Skips up inside the circle. Really nice. Wow. 
Good power. It's 315 feet downhill. It's definitely reachable. Yeah, but and it's so scary. To keep it low because this is a downhill play. Plus, you got that OB on the left side. Looks like Holly might be out of bounds. Like oh. It is, but, oh, nice roll down. Speaking of, yeah, it's really scary to attack this hole because of how the the OB on the right hand side plays so close. At least it seems to. Just going with the forehand. I love this. She's got the power to get there. It's really good. <gasps> that's such uh, it's a really good cool play. To see. Yeah. yeah. All day. That's a signature Jessica shot right there. I love that. It's something I didn't even think about trying. Huh. Oh, come on. Back up. Oh, so easy to do. A little turnover and it just kind of carries OB on this hole. Yeah, the left to right slope from the hill all the way down into that goalie on the right, it really does have a tendency to want to flip your disc over. Mm -hmm. You got to kind of stable up a little bit. Totally. Yeah. Becca will have a tap in for bogey. Well, Paige looking for, for birdie. Yep. Oh nice. man! The step putt. It's her second jump putt, Slomez. Nice. This is why she's your tournament leader, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Making it look easy. Oh no way! All over it. Good run from Holly. Paige had her hair straightened for Tina and Eric's wedding last week, so it's funny to see her back with curly hair. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Jessica with a birdie as well. Nice too. Great too. Rebecca with the only bogey. She's got a couple bogeys in a row now. She's trying to shake it off, trying to get back on the horse. Um, next hole is definitely uh, a birdie hole, so yep. she has yes. a chance. Yeah, definitely. Good chance to start your back nine. Holly to her par. And we will be wrapping up the front nine, moving into the back. Yep, 28 with Paige Bierkus with the hot score on the front nine. Super hot. Hopefully Rebecca and Holly can kind of shake off the front nine, get, pick, pick up the pace on the back nine. Hokum kind of creeping up into the top four. Yeah. Just holding on. Um, Rebecca holding on. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, come back, see us on the back nine. Uh, thanks to the PDGA and Innova for this footage and for Joe Mess for coming out and filming the ladies. Yeah. Check out some stats when you can on you just live. And, the uh, most awesome app ever. <laughs> um, I'm Madison Walker. And I'm Lisa Vegas. And we'll be back with, for the back nine. Yeah. Join Come us for the out. back nine. Yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs>